Hey everyone, I'm John Nelson with Haas Automation, and this video is going to take you through the relatively simple process of running probing cycles to measure and set machine rotary zero point and safe zone calibration position settings on Haas VR series five axis gimbal head machines. There's a very similar process for the Haas GM2 5AX machines, but there are key differences. So if you have a GM2 5AX machine, stop this video now and watch the GM2 5AX MRZP and safe zone calibration video. The VPS templates and software were updated in versions 100.20.000.1200 to allow writing directly to settings from within the G code output by the VPS template. If you have a VR series machine with older software, we recommend that you get it updated to the latest version. There are two separate BPS templates that need to be run. The first is to set the machine rotary zero points, or MRZP for short, and the other is to calibrate the safe zone position in relation to the machine table. The MRZP template needs to be run first, and the process will set the MRZP settings 300 and 301, which are the MRZP X and Y offset master settings. These settings account for any deviation between the center of C-axis rotary and the center of spindle rotation. It will also set setting 303, which is the MRZP X offset slave, this setting accounts for any deviation at the intersection of the center of the C-axis rotary and the center of the B-axis rotary. And finally, it'll determine setting 305, MRZP Z offset slave, which is the distance from the center of B-axis rotation to the face of the spindle. This is commonly known as your pivot length. Settings 300, 301, and 303 apply compensation to machine positions. When we're running the probing cycle to measure these values, there can be no compensation applied, so we need to set them to zero. I like to take a photo of the MRZP settings 300 through 305 and the safe zone calibration settings 378 through 380 before starting this process. This is just in case I want to compare the numbers I had in the machine originally to the ones I'm going to get after the probing cycle runs. Okay, to remove the compensations, change settings 300 through 304 to zero. If you forget this step and try to run the probing cycle, you will get an alarm telling you to change these settings to zero. The value in setting 305 is most likely going to be accurate. But if it happens to be out of range, the MRZP probing program will give an alarm and tell you the value that you need to enter into the setting before restarting the probing program. Okay, now we need to attach the rotary axis calibration tool, commonly known as a tooling ball, to the table. On VR series machines, leave the slotted base on the rotary axis calibration tool and use T-nuts and bolts to clamp it to the table using the center T-slot of the machine. So line it up like this, with the base parallel to the X-axis. Then measure 17.25 inches, or 438 millimeters, from the right edge of the table to the center of the tooling ball stem, and tighten the screws there. Make sure you leave the base, extension section, and the section with the ball on it so it stands roughly 9.2 inches or 233 millimeters tall. This is very important because the head on the machine is going to tilt over 90 degrees and probe the ball in that position. If you don't have the ball at the right height, you will get a potential collision detected alarm. Okay, I've got the tooling ball attached to the table and I'm ready to proceed. You get to the VPS template by pressing the edit key and navigating to the VPS tab. Scroll down and highlight number one, probing, and press the right arrow key. Now scroll to number three, calibration, and again press the right arrow key to enter that directory. Highlight MRZP calibration and hit that right arrow key. We're almost there. 
Now, scroll down to number nine, MRZP VR series. Before you press the right arrow key to actually enter the template, take a moment to watch the on-screen animation. This will give you a visual reference about the height of the rotary axis calibration tool and where it needs to be set on the table, how the table needs to be clear around the tooling ball, and how and where to jog the spindle probe to start the cycle. Okay, one last right arrow key press and we enter the template. All we need to do here is enter the diameter of the tooling ball and then jog the spindle probe to the start position. Please notice that when I press the keys displayed in the jogging animation, I enter jog mode without leaving the VPS template. All VPS templates work this way. Press the letter key of the axis you want to jog first, then press handle jog. Once in jog mode while in the template, you can change the axis to jog by pressing an axis direction jog key or the letter key and handle jog again. With the probe in position, look at the available functions in the upper right corner of the template. I can press cycle start to run the probe cycle in MDI. The code is immediately written to MDI and the program begins to run. The other option is to press F4 instead of cycle start. This will generate the code and allow you to either insert the G code to the clipboard, output the G code to MDI, or create a new program. I usually press cycle start to run immediately. That's all there is to setting the machine rotary zero points. The probing cycle will run and write the values to the proper settings when it's done. Okay, now let's talk about safe zone calibration. First off, machines like this with a tilting and rotating spindle head that can accept different length cutting tools could crash into itself very easily. To reduce the possibility of such a crash, the machine software has coordinate information on the size and location of permanent elements of the machine, like the spindle head, the table, and the tool changer. After the machine is assembled, the control needs to know where the table is relative to the machine coordinate system so it can adjust the position of these permanent elements for more accurate safe zone protection. The process for safe zone calibration is very similar to the MRZP process. The main difference is that we need to select the VPS template for safe zone calibration on VR models. The tooling ball stays in exactly the same position at the same height. Navigate to the safe zone calibration template by pressing the edit key and navigating to the VPS tab. Scroll down to number one, probing, right arrow and down to number three, calibration, and again, press the right arrow key. Highlight safe zones and hit that right arrow key. Now, scroll down to number two, Safe Zone VR series. Again, before entering the template, watch the animation to get information about the cycle. Jog the spindle probe to the correct position above the tooling ball, enter the tooling ball diameter in the template, and press cycle start to run the cycle. The probing cycle for Safe Zone calibration simply probes to find the X, Y and Z location of the ball. As with the MRZP template, the probing program will write the measured values to the proper settings. After you've completed the MRZP and safe zone calibration process, your machine is ready to set up and run. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.